Oh my gosh. Um, eight, 18 year old me um, needed to see the value in uh, what you were getting out of college. I think that, um, you know, it's, it's interesting. I spend a lot of time in my classes telling folks how to be successful and a lot of it is what I didn't do well, you know, moving through. But, um, you know, the, I think that 18 year old me could benefit a lot from what I've learned in teaching now in that being in college, I'm not just here anymore to get A's. Um, to have good grades, right? You're, you're choosing to be here and to have a major and to study something to try to build a skill set and a knowledge base that lets you do what you want to do. Um, and in, in the end, should you take the classes you need to get and you need to pass and all that to get the piece of paper? Sure, right? But the, the piece of paper that you get in the end or the transcripts without the underlying skill set, knowledge base or experience d doesn't mean much. You know, I've spent some time in Canada. I like Canada a lot. Um, Washington is nice. So, um, but I, I don't know. I mean, like I've I've repeatedly throughout my career chosen to live in Laramie and and had other offers and decided to stay here. So I think that my actions have clearly told me that I want to live in Laramie, Wyoming, <laughs> because it's it's great, right? You know, it's 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 small like Wyoming where I grew up, but. You know, having the university here, there's always something going on. There's, you know, this this cultural hub to it that also isn't so big that we haven't outgrown our infrastructure that I need to be worried about, you know, when I get done with work. So we have biology exams and they get done at 10 or 10.30 at night. I walk home and I don't feel bad about that. Sometimes I feel cold, but I don't feel unsafe. Um, so I, I realize that it's probably not the answer that anybody wants, but I mean, through my actions, I've clearly chosen Laramie multiple times. Not seeing my family every day um, is is difficult. Um, so when I when I travel, I have a hard time, and you know, FaceTime is great, and, and you still have that. Um, you know, and, and again, teaching freshman bio, we've got the exam days where we proctor all night and then we grade all night, and so. You know, I, I don't actually get to do bedtime or, or see anybody, and, and those, are, those are hard days. Outside of family, um, I play a lot of Pokemon Go. Um, it's, it's what I do while I'm, I know I'm, I'm that guy still, right? Um, what I do when I'm walking to class, and it, it just kind of gives me something to always do to, to be moving. So I, I, I play a lot of games, or you know, when, when football season's going, we play a lot of fantasy football, something that I think lets me be active on something else and kind of disengage from whatever chaos is going on in the day is really important. Otherwise, I think that it's easy to, to build your anxiety or, <laughs> or to build your stress. And so those things that we have that lets me, you know, in the hallway with, with my colleagues in biology talk about how our receiver play is just terrible rather rather than always just talking about biology or you know meeting up with um, you know my wife and going and catching Pokemon while we take a lap around Prexies to like decompress just those kinds of things that let whatever stress or anxiety is going on dissipate for a while so that you can come back and re-engage and not not be um, burned out. I, I, I think that that's really important. And, and really, I think that that's, I think what we get out of our family time is something to prioritize in our life that isn't work, right? Because otherwise it's really easy to just become your work, right? Like I wanna be more than a microbiologist or a biology teacher, right? I wanna do those things very well, but at the same time, that shouldn't be all that I am, right? And so having these other things, I think, you know, allow me to, get out of that mindset and when I come back really be able to embrace and engage it.